Hi, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Wendy. Hope everyone's having a most glorious day in our beautiful King, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Savior of the world, the beginning and the end. He has no beginning and no ending. He's the beginning and the ending for us. <laughs> um, today I will be reading Ephesians um, chapter 6 for the word I received on 23 October 2015. And Ephesians chapter 6 has the armor of God. And I wake up every morning and I put this on. And I also cover myself and King Yeshua's precious and holy blood. Praise God for His perfect word, for His armor that He gives us, His spiritual armor, and for King Yeshua's perfect and sinless blood. For He took on all of our sin, He who was sinless. Praise God. Praise King Yeshua. So here's chapter 6 in Ephesians. <coughs> Children, obey your parents <coughs> excuse me, and the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment, with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord whether he be bond or free. And ye, masters, do the same things unto them, forbearing threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is there respect of persons with him. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly, to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador and bond, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, but that ye also may know my affairs and how I do. Tychicus, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye might know our affairs, and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. Let us praise our wonderful and mighty God. Our holy and mighty Father. Thank you, Father, for your armor of God. Your shield of faith. I girt myself with your belt of truth. My feet are shod, <coughs> excuse me, with the preparation of the gospel of peace. 
I put on the helmet of salvation and I pick up the mighty sword of the Spirit and I put on the breastplate of righteousness. Thank you, Father, for giving me protection, something that I must do. I must put on your armor every day. But I know overall you protect me. I do it in faith, for faith pleases you, Father. For without faith, you cannot please God. I love you so much. Thank you for your precious, holy, and mighty Son, King Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank you for your beautiful Holy Spirit. I love you so much. I love my God. My God is my life. I live for you. Hallelujah to your holy and mighty name. I exalt your holy name forever and ever. In King Yeshua's precious and holy name, Amen and Amen. I received this word on 23 October, <coughs> excuse me, at 26 p.m. Daughter, write my words from the King of Kings, the mighty Savior. Children, it is I, your everlasting Father Yahweh. I am not pleased with my faithful children going after other gods. I am the great Jehovah. I am the living and true God, the almighty Jehovah Elohim. I am referring to the day that Satan calls Halloween. Do you realize the detriment this causes in your own life? You are opening the windows of demons and following doctrines of devils. Do you not realize how you have been deceived by the enemy? Satan has tried to make it appealing to Christians if they have an event at their church. This is a lie. If my people knew me and my commandments, it wouldn't have lured them. This is one of the most evil times in the year, and many of my children think it's innocent if they stay away from frightening costumes. No, my beloved, it is a great deception. It is not harmless. It invites the enemy right into your life. Whether you think how harmless it is, I tell you the truth. You will have to answer for everything you do and say in this lifetime that you have not repented of. I tell you, repent of this worship and bowing down to the evil. The world thinks evil is good and good is evil. This has been predicted in my holy word. Repent, my faithful children, for it is not harmless as the world system says it is. Are you going to listen to the world or your holy God? Repent, repent, repent of your wicked ways. Lord God, Yahweh, 